What's up, guys? Classy Metal here. Lately, I've been on this kick of listening to this old school, kind of thrashy, deathy type stuff. So I decided to pull the trigger and go ahead and grab an Unspeakable Axe Records 6 CD grab bag. I've been pretty impressed with these grab bags in the past. I have purchased these and shown these on the channel before. It's six CDs. They're all Unspeakable Axe, Dark Descent, co-releases that are... 30 bucks plus shipping, so you it's about $5 a CD. I get some really good stuff when I've done these in the past. Usually I just open the grab bag and go through it. I've actually already spent a little bit of time with these CDs and that type of stuff uh, from, from last night into today. That way I could speak a little bit better on the albums that are um, enclosed inside the grab bag as opposed to just showing you a case and moving right along. I figure with there only being six albums, it wouldn't be that much effort for me to actually know what I'm talking about before I get into showing the, the stuff to you. I will link up the Unspeakable Acts website in the description. I will leave a direct link to these grab bags if you feel so inclined to grab one uh, for yourself. I will also, if you're not the grab bag type person and you're just looking to find possibly some new music through this video, I will link up each of these albums individually. There is an Unspeakable Acts Bandcamp and uh, one for these these artists. So I will link that up in the description as well. That way, if you want to seek out just one of these in particular, you can go to that direct link and just check that out as well. That will all be in the description as well as my Facebook, Instagram. All, all the stuff that's normally down there will be there. Plus, you'll have links to Unspeakable Acts and to each of these bands. Let's just get right into this. The first thing they threw in was a little... Uh, promotional flyer uh, it's got the drag drag car uh, release there man that was a fantastic release that uh, I picked that up last year it was on my end of the year list and then on the back we have a uh, cemetery filth and then shards of humanity also two very strong releases from 2020 that cemetery filth was also on my end of the year list going to get them out of the box. Uh, the box was just kind of for aesthetics because I've already gone through all of this stuff. Six CDs, 30 bucks. You can't go wrong. Five dollars a piece. You get a lot of new music. There were some 2020 releases in this grab bag. Speaking of, the first one I got was Hematoxin with um, Restructure the Molded Mind. I did have to change this jewel case out. It came with a little bit of a crack, but that being said, this is very good progressive thrash and it's got hints of death metal all throughout this. It's almost like the band Death and Cynic uh, kind of merged together to create this, this project. I dug it. I like their previous release. I like this release. This came, back, came out in March of 2020, so it is a fairly new release. That's one good thing about these Unspeakable Axe grab bags is you're not just getting old fodder that didn't move in the store. You're getting some new stuff, and you're, most of the stuff on there, when I see that Unspeakable Axe and Dark Descent logos on the back of an album, I know that I'm in for a treat because nine times out of ten, I'm going to enjoy what's on that release. This one is good. I dig it. Uh, these guys are out of Pittsburgh, not Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It is Pittsburgh, California, a place I had never personally heard of before until I looked into this band a little bit. Definitely strong stuff here. If you're into that kind of technical thrash uh, with hints of technical death metal mixed in with that, definitely check out Hemotoxin. You could do no wrong uh, checking that one out. It, it has a little bit to offer for everybody. Good stuff there. Uh, the next one I received was Sadistic Ritual with Visionaire of Death. This one was pretty strong as well. Uh, it has a very kind of old school, thrashy vibe going on. A bit more uh, towards the thrash side of things. There are it, uh, it has hits of almost that early death metal when death metal was just evolving, uh, mainly coming from like that thrashy sound. That stuff is there, but it's mainly uh, catered towards. Uh, the, the thrashy side of things. The standout for this release was the guitar. Uh, the guitarist on this, the lead guitarist, the riffs. I, I was pretty impressed with that. He uh, is one of the stronger elements to this band. This is one that I think I'll have to dig into a little bit deeper to 
uh, maybe appreciate it as much as I should. I did dig this. Like I said, the guitar work was, was astounding on this. So that is a definite starting point. If you're looking for something that's Riff City, if you like your thrash metal chock full of riffs, then I think you'll like Sadistic, uh, Sadistic Ritual. These guys are out of Georgia, I'm wanting to say. I think they uh, were from Atlanta. Next up, this was probably my favorite release that I received in this grab bag. And I bought this because I was into this kind of deathy infused thrash metal. And this is a uh, death grind. It is like 15 minutes of death grind. I was surprised when I pulled this one out and threw it in the player. I was more surprised when I found out that they're from actually from Tennessee. Um, they're on the other side of the state from where I'm from, but still, you know, home state bands. This is a uh, manic scum with acidic remains. This EP clocks in just under 15 minutes. Uh, it's a little over 14 minutes long. It is four tracks, a little bit longer than what you would expect on uh, a per track average, especially with it leaning more towards the grindcore area of sound. But, it, man, it's phenomenal. It's uh, 14 minutes that I wish lasted longer. It, uh, it does not overstay its welcome at all. It kind of leaves you craving more. I believe I'm going to have to seek out to see if this band has other material because I was blown away by this little 14-minute EP. Good stuff here from uh, Manic Scum. Giving uh, Tennessee some love there. So good stuff there. Definitely check that one out. If you check anything out from this video, just hit the, the whole table. Made everything rock. I apologize. Uh, next up, this is a band that had uh, kind of low reviews, and it was probably one of my favorites that I received in this grab bag, so that was kind of kind of weird to me. But that's just that's that tends to be the way my tastes kind of um, gravitate. I, there's a lot of times that I really enjoy something that you see other YouTubers, other people on, on uh, just reviewers and that type of stuff kind of turn their nose up and, and shun away from. But I, I tend to dig that stuff, and maybe that's why some of you guys like this channel and follow it. Hopefully some of you guys have that same taste that I do. Uh, this is a band that I'm going to butcher their title, their name. Um, Philact Philactory with uh, Necromancy Enthralled. Philactory, I believe that's how you pronounce that. This band is no longer around, unfortunately. Uh, they have this almost skeleton witch vibe going on um it doesn't lean is more into the blackened realm of things but it has that that thrashy i almost just kind of skeleton witch worship going on at times i really dig skeleton witch so maybe that's why i dig this uh this album so much i wish that this band would have stayed around longer i believe this is the only full length that, that they released they had some uh, ep and demo material as well but I really dig this. Uh, it has some almost like groovy elements going on at times as well, but definitely has that that snarly uh, skeleton witchy. I know I keep throwing skeleton witch out there, but that, that that's just the vibe that I get from this. But I, I dig it. Next up, this is probably the oldest album that was in this uh, entire grab bag. This came out, I believe, in 2014, but it has a very classic thrash sound going on. This is uh, from the Swiss, uh, Swiss band Algebra, Feed the Ego. Starting off on this album, you get this, uh, this Pantera throwback opening riff that makes me want to just cut the sleeves off my shirt, um, grab the nearest staple gun, and new jack you right in front of your mother. I know a lot of you younger people have no idea what I'm talking about, but Algebra, the start of that, is exactly the vibe that I got from it. Now, don't be alarmed. I know that there are a lot of people who, who do not like Pantera, who don't like that kind of groovy style thrash that just kind of, I, I, I don't even know the words for it, the tough guy type thrash. That's not what this album is. It's like they started off just kind of paying their respects to the, the forerunners, the, the classics, and then they have a sound that is distinctly and, and, and originally their own. I was uh, pretty pretty impressed with this. It is probably the the best performed uh, musically out of all of these albums that I got. These guys are all very talented. It is just throwback thrash metal. It is what you when you think of classic thrash, this is the sound that uh, I, that definitely pops up in my mind. 
they have a, a way of performing classic style stuff in a way that's uh, just they make it completely their own. So that that's very uh, a testament to them, I guess. That's a pretty well performed stuff there. And then last but not least, this is another. This is just chaotic thrash metal. This was nuts. This is Rabid Beast with their self titled demo. Or it's either a demo or EP. Uh, this came out pretty recently. This came out in 2020 as well. Very stellar stuff here. Um, I believe these guys are out of Chicago, uh, featuring Eric Bauer. Uh, not the Eric Bauer that you're thinking of, but Eric Bauer out of Chicago. Pretty good job. Uh, I believe he's the guitarist of this. I found that uh, amusing. I was like, Eric Bauer? But it's not that Eric Bauer. But Rabid Beast is just chaotic, nutty, over-the-top thrash metal. It's not goofy. It's just, uh, just in-your-face chaotic type goodness i dig it i dug everything that i got in this grab bag the only double that i received was that hemotoxin so i was pretty pretty surprised by that that's one good thing i like about doing these unspeakable acts i have not dug deep enough into their label discography that these uh grab bags will be a lot of duplicates and that type stuff so i, I don't mind taking the gamble and rolling the dice and seeing what i get i'm usually impressed with three-fourths, if not more, of everything that comes in these. This one, I, I enjoyed every single album that I got, so that is definitely a good thing. Like I said, that's all linked up in the description. If you want to go get your own, that's down there. If you want to just check out their web store, check out their website, website and see what they have to offer, that's linked up down there. And then I have each one of those albums. If you saw something that you wanted to check out just individually, those are all linked up. I'm putting in the legwork for you guys. I'm classy. That's what I do. That's all I've got for today. Stay classy. Stay metal. I will see you all very soon. I promise.